So tell me, you used to tell me some funny stories about a bar when you worked at IBM. You'd get off the night shift. Yeah, yeah. We I worked night shift at IBM back in the early 80s. It was probably 82 or 83. And uh, we always wanted to go someplace and drink beer and hang out. And so there was a bar down on Burnett Road. Happy Hour was from 7 to 9. It was called the Little Longhorn. And uh, it was an old uh, dive bar that was famous for the chicken shit bingo. And uh, we went there in uh, many a days early in the morning drinking beer and hanging out. But uh, that was just one of the places we'd hang out. So how, how was chicken shit bingo? How would that work? They had a bingo, a uh, big card, like a piece of plywood, and it was, uh, you know, corded off just like a bingo card. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it had screen around it, and they'd take this rooster and everybody would pick a number. You'd pick whatever number yours was. As you put, you had your money, and they put it in a pot. And they put the rooster up on there. And he'd walk around there, and whatever number he shit on, that was the winner. <laughs> and so you won. You'd win. You'd win the money. But yeah, it was a wild deal. Yeah. And it was chicken shit bingo, and they they did it uh, every week. Yeah. Tell me about the poodle lounge. What kind of place was the poodle lounge? The poodle dog lounge. It was another bar that was up the street about a block, and. Uh, when I first went there, it was a, a kind of a neighborhood bar, but it was at the end of North Austin at that time, which was far northwest Austin, which is now central Austin. And uh, a lot of rough characters hung out there. And then when I went in there the, the first time, I went in there and it had all these rules on the wall. And it was uh, no colors, no knives, no guns, no cussing, no just right on down the list. Anything that you could think that the Bandito Motorcycle Club came there and they had to put the rules on the wall because it was a really rowdy bar. There was kniving, shootings going on, so they tried to control it. But you know, you can't control the Bandito Motorcycle Club. All you can right. try to do is post the rules on the walls, you know, so right. they did that. So yeah, it was pretty wild. You place. told me a story, what would happen when the cops would show up inside that place? Well, you know, they would, uh, the cops would show up, you know, and a lot of people would maybe go out the front door, out the back door, or they would, you know, try to stash their knife or their gun if they had one. Would you hear guns hitting the ground or? Oh yeah, you could, you could hear them. You could hear one clank, clink or whatever, you know, and you definitely hear the door close on the bathroom. <laughs> you know, they're probably flushing some drugs or something, you know, there was, it was a, it was a wild place, you know, like uh -huh. I say, it was more or less a knife or a gun club. If you didn't have one, we'd loan you one. <laughs> so, you know, that's kind of the place it was. It was, it was a wow. wild place.